Did you know that in Laney you can compute cortical layers for the whole brain without using triangular meshes? So first, let me introduce you to the dataset that I'm going to use. Here you can see that I have a 0.5 mm upsampled T1 image, or T1 weighted image, I should say. And here I have a segmentation file that actually comes from FreeSurfer. You can see that in this segmentation, many tissues are classified, including the subcortical areas. However, I am only interested in the cortical gray matter segmentation. So now I'm going to use a Python script to convert this segmentation output that is coming from FreeSurfer and convert it into Nifty already into a format that we use in Laney to compute layers. Here you can see that I have a Python script that I use to convert this FreeSurfer segmentation file into a format that we use in Laney. And I am only interested in the white matter and gray matter labels. You can see that I have here already put the full path to this nifty file into this script. I'm going to share the script in the video description. And basically I'm just going to run this Python script. After a few seconds you can see that my script is now finished. Now I go back to the folder and see that there's a, another file called underscore rim. This will be the input that we are going to use in Laney. Basically I have used the free surfer outputs and converted them into the rim file that we like to use. You can see that white matter gray matter border is labeled and also outside of the gray matter border is labeled together with the gray matter. So now let's use Laney. Here I am in the Laney terminal and I'm going to call ln 2 layers program together with the rim input and I will say I want to have two layers. Let's wait a few minutes. Okay, now the program has finished execution. Let's have a look at our usual outputs. I'm going to load the layers output. And here you can see that I nicely have two layers across the whole brain. Here each gray matter voxel is labeled into two bins. And just as an example, now I'm going to rerun the same script with three layers. Okay, I finished running the layering with three layers now which I would like to show you. Here you can see that now I have three layers for each gray matter voxel. And of course, as usual, you can make use of the metric file. The metric file includes normalized cortical depth measurements for each voxel. That is a value between zero and one. And this is the map that we use to bin into discrete number of layers. So if you want to do different number of layers, you can directly use this file and generate your own layering. Before ending the video, I would like to mention the whole brain dataset that I have used. This dataset is called Natural Science Dataset. Basically, I have followed this link to access the data, which requires you to fill in a short form and then you will get the relevant information on how to access the data. The specific file that I have used in this video will be mentioned in the video description. That's all for today. Thank you.